Four fragrances, one house, in a field. Let's go. Alright, so this is a tag video. I believe it was started by BFL and Red Lessons. I was tagged to do this video by Chad from the excellent channel A Gentleman's Journey. If by some strange reason you've not already checked out Chad's channel, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below this video. Head along over there. So this one is four fragrances from one house. If you could only own four fragrances from one house for the rest of your life, which house would it be and which would those four fragrances be? The previous four fragrances for life video seems to be based on seasonal fragrances, one for each season. I'm not sure if this one is, but it just so happens that the four fragrances I've chosen do work particularly well in the four different seasons. The house I am choosing is I think one of the few houses that I, I own four fragrances from. It's the house of Tom Ford and it's four picks from the private blend. The first one I'm going to pick is Neroli Portofino. This one is a great one for summer. Not a lot going on with this fragrance. It's a pretty simple fragrance. Some people would argue that it's so simple it's not worth the private blend price tag. I've been wearing this recently and you know every time I wear it I just love it. I get wafts throughout the day, I actually sprayed a bit on clothes so the longevity and the performance was actually uh, better than I'd remembered so I really did enjoy wearing it. So you've got that clean Neroli, there's some citruses, there's almost a bit of a soapy vibe. Simple fragrance but done really well, Neroli Portofino. Okay let's head into autumn, this one is one of the best leather fragrances I have. It's one of my favourite fragrances of all time, definitely a five star fragrance without a doubt. This one is leather and raspberry, you already know which one it is if you know your fragrances. I'm of course talking about Tuscan leather. This one is just such an intoxicating smell. A lot of people say that they don't really get compliments from it and I have to say that Whenever I've worn this, I've not particularly had many compliments, but I just don't care. I love the smell of this. It lasts ages on me. And after all, personally for me anyway, wearing fragrances is more about me enjoying the smell. I know a lot of people have, have sold this on because their wives or girlfriends don't like it. I don't care. I'm not sure if my wife particularly likes this one. She hasn't said either way, but I love it. So I'm going to wear it. The leather in here is like the leather, or is said to be like the leather in a brand new Ferrari. Um, I've been in a Ferrari, not brand new, and um, yeah, it does have that kind of luxurious leather quality. The fruity raspberry note in here just balances out that leather, so you've got a sweetness balanced with the sharpness of the leather. It smells like quite a complex fragrance, quite a full bodied fragrance. Perfect for cooler weather. It would work really well in the winter. In fact, any of these four fragrances I do wear all year round. Yes, why not wear Neroli Portofino in the winter time? I'm that crazy. Uh, some days it just works, you know, sometimes you might have a nice winter day. Um, so Tuscan leather, really good for autumn, but easily worn all year round. When it comes to the winter time, I like a bold fragrance, something that's going to really pierce through that cold winter air. This one certainly does that. It's a little bit daring. It has a note of tobacco, which is probably my favourite fragrance note. It also has some oud in it. It's tobacco oud. Now the oud in this one, I wouldn't say is animalic. You certainly don't get that skanky barnyard feel. I don't get much oud at all. What I do get is more amber. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Amber Absolute and the Amber here is providing a real richness, real full bodied character to the fragrance. So it's really punchy, it's got plenty of attitude, it's assertive. You walk into a room wearing this one and I think it would announce your arrival. People would smell it and think well that's, that's an interesting smell and I think it inspires confidence. I think people would think a confident person would wear this one. If you want to hide in the shadows, if you don't want to be noticed then I don't think this is the fragrance for you. But if you like an empowering fragrance, something with some attitude, Tobacco Oud certainly does the trick. Dressed up in a suit, looking sharp in the winter is the perfect time for this. 
time for my spring choice. This one has some greenness, it has some darker woodiness, so that light and shade make it ideal for spring. I have a real emotional connection with this fragrance. This was the first really expensive fragrance that I smelled. It was the first Tom Ford that I smelled, and it just blew me away. I'm talking about Oud Wood. Again, I don't really get a lot of oud out of this one. What I do get is a greenness, a bit of spiciness, some lovely sweet vanilla, plenty of woods going on in here. So it's light and dark at the same time. This is a very sensual fragrance. In my opinion, it's very masculine. You do hear a lot of guys saying that this is the one that gets them the female compliments. And I have heard ladies saying that they love to smell oud wood on a man so if you're looking for a tom ford if you haven't tried anything from the tom ford private blend if you want something that's versatile if you want something that works for pretty much any occasion if you want something that might get you a compliment or two if you haven't tried it you must try oud wood it is an absolute beauty and will always be in my collection Okay, so those are my four choices from one house. I know it's not terribly different or inventive picking from the private blend, but I adore all these four fragrances. I wear them a lot. I'm very proud to have them in my collection. And to be honest, I could have easily picked another four from the private blend to include in this video. I think it's a really strong collection. Now, this tag was done so long ago. I don't know who's done this video. I don't know if it's done the rounds. I don't know if it gathered any momentum. I'm gonna mention three people Feel free to do it. I'm not gonna hold it against you if you don't do it because uh, maybe um, it was started a little bit too long ago for it to carry on. But if you feel like you want to, then go for it. I'm gonna tag Mr. Smelly. I'm also gonna tag Ouch110 and Demi Rowling. So guys, if you haven't done this video already, if you feel like you wanna do it, I'd definitely be interested to see your choices. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.